Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I found another free hookup RV park to show you here in the little town of Brownfield, which is in the northwest part of Texas. And I came through here a couple years ago, and I found that there are quite a few of these free RV parks all around northwest Texas and up into the Panhandle small towns around there like to have these free RV parks in their city parks which this one is as well so let me show you around and tell you all about it there are 16 of these electric hookup boxes 16 spaces and when I got here I've been here three days already the place was almost full I got maybe the last one or two or so spaces that were still available but people have been coming and going quite a bit and today there's just three of us left now these are some of the old style electric boxes have 30 amp here and 20 amp the breakers show 20 and 30 now some of them <laughs> you may find one that is broken and may not get fixed but if you're lucky you'll easily get a space also have water faucets here there's just one dump station which is right over there and there is a donation box to help pay the expenses please give them at least a few dollars and this says you're allowed to stay five days and then there's a garbage dumpster here now let's take a look around the park they have disc golf and a lot of room here to play football or baseball here is the general park rules here's a really big picnic pavilion and over here concrete basketball court and two volleyball courts and here they have a pretty good sized amphitheater maybe they have bands playing or some kind of programs in the summer and behind the amphitheater is this nice green grassy field and they have bleachers over there so they probably set that up for soccer there's some swings for the kitties over here. And across the street is a big sports complex with baseball fields. The gate is locked, so I'm not sure what else is in here. There's a lot of band things in here. Even sunflower seeds. So don't bring your sunflower seeds in here, folks. And last but not least is the aquatic center. How about that? Water slides and such. Got a nice big pool that they're just now getting ready to open. I see guys working out there. But the bathrooms are closed for the season. I wonder when bathroom season is. <laughs> Here's the details on it. Costs four or five dollars admission. This is kind of like a beach area. Oh, and look how deep this is. Wow, and got a diving board. There's where the water slides come out. And this is kind of a small little lazy river type thing. Got a whole lot of playground equipment over there. So this is going to be really neat when they get it filled with water. Definitely worth five dollars to hang around here for the day. There's an interesting bus conversion that just showed up. Now there are quite a few restaurants. Just about one mile within a mile's walking distance right up the road there. There's your typical fast food 
places and also a Chinese buffet which is where I'm having lunch today and just about a half mile from the RV park is this museum so let's go see what's in there well this explains how the town got its name looks like a typical home from those days got a doll collection here this is about the Indians who originally lived in this area well there's a new word for me to look up <laughs> The Buffalo Hunter. Look at the prices on these buffalo robes. You got a pocket knife collection and a barber chair, shoe shine chair. Don't see those very often. And that's a somebody's desk. Well, lady, excuse me for walking into your bedroom <laughs> hope you don't mind that must be the high school uniform the bathroom door is open and there's another lady taking a bath <laughs> got an organ and a piano this must be the cook with one of these old iron stoves. Well, the fruit's still fresh. <laughs> Never heard of a hospital safe. There's a, one of those really old complicated linotypes. And here's the first telephone in the whole county. And there's the first jail for the county which they've got sitting right outside the museum building and right next to that is the Brownfield Santa Fe Railroad Depot well that's a nice small town museum check it out sometime when you're coming through northwest part of Texas it's a nice town good day folks